Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Sudden Increase in YouTube Subscribers. Thank you. But moving past my vast wealth and insane popularity, I do want to get a little bit serious right now. Due to the rapid growth of attention and eyes on me, uh, I did want to get ahead of a few rumors before my career really starts to take off. So I just want to address the elephant in the room. It is true. I am a Maxinista. I'm a big old slut for TJ Maxx. And some of you may mock me for my retail choices. I understand that. Am I gonna be able to pull off some insane fit that the hype beasts on the Instagram Discover page will revel in? Probably not, it's TJ Maxx. But you tell me where I'm gonna find a three pack of underpants, a slightly damaged men's flannel, an electric razor for men's shaving, as well as some dog shit earbuds that are gonna fall apart in three days, all for under $50. Marshalls is the answer, it probably also Marshalls. But my point still stands, and I think they're owned by the same company, I'm pretty sure, so whatever, screw it. However, there is one insane part of the TJ Maxx experience that often goes overlooked, either through sheer ignorance or just to avoid the monumental power it holds. I, of course, am talking about the checkout aisle. So you know how normally at most stores in the checkout aisle, there's usually a bunch of garbage that no one really needs, but it's there so kids who ask you a million times throughout the store if they could buy something, and you said no every single time, by the point you get to the checkout, you're worn out. So your kid can ask for some dumb, dumb little thing, and you'll finally say yes, because fuck it, you're so sick of them. Just the little treats. Candy, soda, dumb toys, I've seen Pokemon cards. In some, at Walmart, I think, cigarettes, just things that children would probably enjoy. However, TJ Maxx, took this concept and ran with it in a really weird direction. They did not follow the race course. There are usually two things you can find in the checkout aisle of TJ Maxx. Uh, beauty products, which I will not be reviewing today because I wash my face with dish soap, and food. Some of the most unappealing, ridiculous, and overpriced food you can find at any shopping store. Name brand snacks, leave. You need to be removed from the situation. TJ Maxx does not have time for plebs like you, or plebs, I don't know how to say that word. No Snickies, no Reets, nothing that you'd actually wanna eat as you walk through a store. Instead, they fill the aisles with something I like to call mom bait. Fancy looking foods with the illusion of health benefits, so a mom will be like, oh, I'm not, I'm just treating myself, but I'm still doing the right thing, but you're not. It's really overpriced poison. And I thought no one was talking about this strange part of the TJ Maxx experience, so I wanted to do an expose on it. Well, actually, my roommate's little brother told me to make this video. It was his idea, but I refuse to share the spotlight, so I will not be crediting you, Corey. Not gonna happen, sorry. So despite every ounce of my being tell me to stay inside and play Rocket League, I made a trip out to my local TJ Maxx to do a shopping spree. I felt super weird about filming myself walking around and shopping in the checkout aisle of an empty TJ Maxx at 1.30 on a Tuesday. I uh, also felt super self-conscious about filling a shopping cart up with the dumbest food purchases any human could make, but I was determined to make content. After being upsold on a reusable bag, the sunshine, I'll go with the sunshine. She was right the whole time. I scurried home with a swag bag of things I immediately regretted buying. And here we are, just a whole bunch of garbage. I have seven items that I will be reviewing from a scale of one to 10. The three factors that will go into this score is price, flavor, and how mad it made me. How much rage was boiling in my loins as I tried this snack. Up first, we have Why Lana Vegan Cheese Twists. Just take a peek at how pretty that sweet lady is. Oh gosh, I wanna give her a kiss. So this is the definition of mom bait. I don't know if you can see it because I'm not gonna get B-roll, but at the top here it says gluten-free, non-GMO, zero trans fat, and vegan. And I believe a potato chip has all of those things going for it. I mean, I guess besides zero trans fat, but you don't, you don't, I mean, it's just eat a potato chip. It's not that deep. All right. That kind of smells like chlorine. Ugh, it smells like a, a, a hotel pool. Why does it smell like that? Mmm, not excited about this. That's what it looks like. Pretty, pretty cute. I'm surprised how good the cheese flavor is, but I guess anytime you get a cheese flavored thing, it's not real cheese, like it's processed bullshit. So it's not that far off the beaten trail. It is like sandy though. Like the texture is very, like I ate wet sand, which as you can imagine is pretty unappealing. It reminds me of going over that kid's house like when you were little and the mom was on some health kick, so you couldn't have normal snacks, you had to eat bullshit. And this is bullshit. Uh, but I will say for 4.5 ounces and how dense the bag is, I don't know if you can see that, it, it's, there's a lot in here. It's not like a Lay's bag, like there's a lot of stuff in here. It was three bucks altogether. It, it tells me to compare at 3.99, but I don't know what that means. I don't know where else, 
I could get this. So I don't really, I can't compare prices. Overall, six out of 10, higher than I expected to give it, but I'm giving it a lower score than I normally would because it reminds me of my friend's child abuse. So up next, we have these things. The original Chimes Ginger Chews Mango Chewy Ginger Candy Tropical Mango Blends with Original Ginger for an Exotic Treat. So at one point I was supposed to stop reading. I don't know where. Now, before we begin, I wanted to make it known that I do have a white person palate. I don't like ginger. I just don't. I enjoy a good ginger ale, but that's barely ginger in the first place. It's pretty much a Sprite with extra spice. Oh my God, the, each one is individually wrapped. They're all, oh, they're all just special little candies. Okay. I also don't really like mango. So I'm kind of being an asshole by trying these, but I was blacked out in fear walking around that TJ Maxx. I knew people were looking at me and I was recording everything and they definitely thought I was mentally ill in some capacity and I kind of am. I don't have fingernails. So this is always, a candy opening has been a process for me since I was a young child. I'm only eating one of these because this is taking an insane amount of time. There we go, okay, that looks appetismo. Ooh, that is almost lost a tooth, okay. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's not good. It has to be in my mouth for so long because it's so chewy. I don't want to spit it out, but I might have to spit it out. It's not good. I don't have anything to spit into. <laughs> so that was bad. Now listen, I know I preface this by saying that I don't like ginger or mango, but hear me out. It wasn't bad because of the ginger. That was like kind of appealing, a little spicy, but it wasn't like, I liked the, the ginger flavor. And the mango, was also not too bad, but you put those two things together and nothing makes sense. It was like eating a Yankee candle that is not bought frequently. Like a weird smell of Yankee candle. Like be real with me, if there was a Yankee candle called ginger mango, you probably would go to another candle. You would think they're off the bean in the Yankee candle factory. However, there are so many of these goddamn candies in here. It's five ounces of candy. So I don't want to say it's a bad deal. A lot of waste though, a lot of waste that could be avoided. I guess it's sticky, so you have to have separate packaging, but you know, I could have dealt with that. That seems like, you know, environmentally, if we're going the mom route, not a good look. And also 350 for a bag of these, I don't know. I wish I didn't make the purchase. We're gonna give that a three out of 10 because I can see how some people like it and I'm, maybe someone in the comments is gonna get mad at me for not enjoying that, but I believe it sucked a wiener, so it's my video, f you. Up next we have another candy called Dolzora Coconut and Pineapple Snacks. Vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, low sodium, no artificial flavors. It's hitting all the marks that a mother would die for. And also, the bag is huge. There are 60 pieces of candy in here and it's still only 350, which is the same price as the chimes and you got a lot less than those, at least by volume. I also like coconut, don't like pineapple, I don't, but I like coconut. I think this is like a mostly coconut treat. Ooh, it smells so good. I love coconut. I don't eat enough coconut. I feel like I should have an Almond Joy every now and again, but I always go right to the fucking Reese's like an animal. All right, bon appetit. Mmm, <laughs> oh God. This is, this is so good. Why is this so good? It's so good. However, I will say there is zero pineapple flavor. El Zelcho. There is no pineapple flavor at all. It's probably why I like it. It really is just like a brick of sweetened coconut shavings, but I live for that. That's that's what I'm here for. If this was smothered in chocolate, I would I would kill a governor to have another bite of this. I mean, honestly, like nine out of 10. I mean, I guess eight out of 10, because some people might buy this wanting a pineapple-y experience and there's no pineapple. This is not a pina colada situation. It's a colada situation. What does the colada stand for in pina colada? Does it mean coconut? I speak in English, but all in all, best one so far. That was a good deal. It's a good treat. A lot of mom bait. We got, we got the, what was the thing? Rage, I'm not angry at all. 10 out of 10, Fuck it, 10 out of 10. This is one that I'm least excited about and it is the Heavenly Hunks Ridiculously Amazing Birthday Cake Gluten-Free Bites, which is a whole lot of horse shit. It's gluten-free, vegan, keto, uh, non-GMO, all the normal shit. And out of mom bait, this one takes the cake. If you'll notice, they put a little blurb on the back here with an extremely handsome man. It's a drawing, but I, I, I'm sure it's supposed to be based off of someone. And he is just chirping up a storm to these fine mothers out there. In our kitchen, we create with your family in mind. That's where we are light on ingredients and heavy on the hunk. They're just being horny. They're just being horny to moms. Oh my God. It smells like a bag of Play-Doh. It looks like a bag of Play-Doh. That is crazy how much that smells like Play-Doh. God, so excited to eat this. Mmm, it tastes like Play-Doh. It's, I was very shocked 
Really thought it was gonna do a 180 on me. Nope, Play-Doh, Play-Doh in and out. There is the flavor of birthday cake, as in they probably just pumped a little frosting in there, but golly, that is edible Play-Doh. How dare you be horny to the mothers out there who are just trying to give their children a treat. You're gonna look a mother in the eyes and say horny things as she feeds her child? Two out of 10. Get the f out of here. Oh, I almost forgot the price. Seven dollars? Zero out of 10. The f are you doing? Seven dollars? Compared to at eight ninety nine, I will not thank you, TJ Mack. I'll compare it to regular human food, which is not this. God damn, that made me actually genuinely upset. Let's clear our palate with keto shortbread cookies. Irresistibly delicious, low carb cookies. One cookie is under one gram of carbs, no sugar, made with almond flour, zero guilt. All of those things sound fantastic, but it also sounds like it's gonna taste like shit. Big fan of how they put the price sticker right over where I have to open it to remind me that I paid $5 for something that feels lighter than a Happy Meal without the toy. Why is there dark stuff on here? There's like weird gross, gross black shit in there. That's that's a bummer. Oh, it's soft. Okay, I, I, they did say soft baked to perfection, but I thought they were full of shit. Hello. Remember when I called that sweet lady's chips Sandy? I didn't know what I was talking about. Whatever point I gave her, let's bump it up one because that is a whole different ball game. That is pure wet sand in my mouth. If you want to indulge yourself in something sweet and delicious, get something sweet and delicious. Stop lying to yourselves. And TJ Maxx, stop lying to these moms. Oh my God. It's got like the worst aftertaste too. Even the beginning, like it tasted like you're eating like a little, little cake. You're having a little cake. It's not a cookie. No way in hell that's a cookie. But it tastes like a little bit like a cake. Look, see how that's like a cakey consistency? It's just not good, bad, hated it. I get why it's guilt-free because it's painful. You're you're hurting yourself eating these things. One out of t two out of 10, because we gave the, the, the $7 fucking food a one out of 10. So two out of 10 for those. I don't know why I bought this. I just bought it because it was like the most interesting thing there. They had just a whole bunch of marshmallows. Vanilla and strawberry marshmallow hearts. And I guess it's for Valentine's Day, which is coming up. It's just a bunch of marshmallows. Mm. Yep. That's a shitty marshmallow. Does anyone want this? Is anyone super into this for Valentine's Day? Like if your partner, if your lover came up to you and gave you a week's worth of marshmallows in a bag, are you into that? Marshmallows are something you put on things and not just eat out of the bag. I'm gonna have another one though, but I'm just cause I'm hungry. I don't know, five out of 10? How much does it cost? $6, I paid $6 for a bag of fucking marshmallows. Three out of 10, Jesus Christ. And last but not least, I was most excited for this one because they wrapped it up like a vase. You know when you go to a store and they wrap it in paper when it's glass? We have Belmont, The Farms Collection, Cajun Crunch, Gourmet Virginia Peanuts, Almonds, Butter Toffee Peanuts, Sesame, and Corn Sticks. Uh, and I don't even want to check the price because it is glass. And glass means the things inside of it are better. Looking at you, Snapple. Yeah, six dollars. Six dollars for what is essentially bar mix. It's also very hard to open. <laughs> Come on. It's just party mix. It's just party mix. I'm pretty sure they just found a bag of party mix and put it in a glass jar and sold it to idiots like me for $6 in fucking tin. Four, because it tastes good, but Jesus Christ, I'm a moron. So all in all, I want to, one, bring up the fact that this coconut thing was so goddamn good. I'm gonna eat these until the cows come home. But everything else was generally dog shit. So what is TJ Maxx trying to do? I listen, I understand the appeal. Like I said, it's all about the moms. It's all about getting them them health kick, but make it tasty or cheap or both. Why do you have to pretend it's just, the margins on this must be incredible. They must be making money hand over fist. Cause I've never seen one person ever buy food from TJ Maxx, not once. So this is a public plea to the corporation of TJ Maxx Home Goods and Marshalls. Stop it, knock it off. Okay, we're all sick of it. And the headphones, get rid of those too. You're just hurting people's feelings. You're just taking their money and hurting their feelings. All right, that's it for this video. I don't feel good. I feel, I ate a lot of bullshit. So thanks for coming by. Um, hey. Thank you for 300,000 subs. I think we're at 350 now. Relax, we're doing the outro. We have to pay attention. I think I'm at 350 now. Much appreciated. Keep them coming. I'll keep making videos. Oh, okay. Goodbye everyone. Like, comment, and subscribe. Do it for her. Look at the camera, do it for her.